Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Diablo 3. I am Rufal, playing this game for you. Woo! Unfortunate thing in, in Act 5. All these people that we've talked to, they retain a, the notice that uh, we might not have talked to them. Oh, well. Never mind that. Our objective is Why clear. Why do angels do this to us? What are you saying? This is obviously a demon's work. <laughs> we need we need to go into the town and deal with the soul crucibles. Rob Malthail and his army. Hello. After years of my pleading, the Angiris Council has finally agreed to send me in search of Malthael. I will not fail in this, as my master's presence is sorely needed in the high heavens. Owing to Malthiel's growing fascination with the humans, Tyriel has suggested I begin my search on Sanctuary. Mm. Right. Or furious spiritual warriors specialize in removing demonic possession. By custom, they arrive in darkness, clad in cloaks as black as the night that conjured them. They work in secret, extracting the demons that dwell within their subjects. Now, I need Malfiel fury. Has turned them, and they roam the city in their inhuman forms, stripping the souls from all they encounter. <laughs> There are a lot of side areas that we could uh, we could distract ourselves with, but uh, oh, we're not going to. Because they are just little side quest things. Yep, they contain war, interesting story stuff, but uh, it's all ancillary to the main quest. Hey guys, ride the wave. Still recharging. After Malthael's disappearance, the Angiris Council appointed his most loyal servant, Urzael, to find him and bring him back to the High Heavens. Urzael, accompanied by the seven ladies who were Malthael's closest followers, set out to find their absent master. They never return. These creatures won't go down easily. A well deserved death. Let's see here. I do not know an optimal way of spreading out paragon points. <laughs> if you have advice for me on that front, uh, do let me know. I just place them and hope they'll and hope they'll work. Pardon me, sir. More fury. Oh. You will against my 
Gotta watch out for those punishers. Also because they jump on you and uh, stun you. Same. Gosh, I wish I could I could change bracers. That being said, I wouldn't use those. I have some ancient legendary ones I would use. This way. Fell on sanctuary, but I did find humans. Far too many of them. They murder and cheat one another while allowing their brothers to starve. If their true power is ever released, we are all doomed. They have a choice between good and evil, and they overwhelmingly choose evil. 
Our kind are just so good at making first impressions, aren't they? Controlling the soul crucible, but not for long. There is no place for her in our world, so let us help her. I need fury. I like that plan, Cormac. in time to save me oh there you are how could you know that i am miriam jazia a seer of the vetchen people i foresaw our meeting but i did not see this horror i have come to help you there is one crucible left and if you destroy that the maidens will not be able to create more there is no time to Yeah, yeah, Act 5 is where we'd be introduced to Miriam, so, uh... We'll be talking to each other like we have no idea who we are, who the other is. Despite having gone through the previous four acts with her. <laughs> hey, guy. Malveil, he's watching you. Do you think he's grumpy? I grew disgusted by humanity during my time on Sanctuary. When at last I found Malfiel, I was not surprised to learn that he felt the same way. We will cleanse creation of the scourge that is humankind, and when we are finished, the tragic mistake of Anarius will be gone. How rude. You should get to the Survivor's Enclave. It is not safe out here. Nonsense. You'll protect me. And after experiencing what those things do to people, let's just say I need to see you destroy the final crucible with my own eyes if I am ever to sleep again. All right. Ah, I heard you were in town, hero. Should have known you'd show up in time for a fight. Hey, buddy. As good as I remember, old friend. I'll be seeing you again soon. Nice to see you leading living troops. Alright. Back to, uh, finding our way forward. She was there. <laughs> I need fury. Hey, 
Truly, the world shall be a poorer place for this lost wisdom. Oh, we got here. Woo. Physical skills. You shouldn't be so dour. You have much to be joyful about. Not one. I have learned that in terrible situations it is better to laugh than to cry. Perhaps when you have lost as much as I, you will understand. Let's see here. Let's go for that. I'll remain a maniac. Quite the physical damage. You increase, see the future? So. Tell me, does this constant death and destruction ever end? Of course it will end, and you will live a long and happy life. Why don't I believe you? Because I was not being entirely truthful. That is your chance that will never believe you can be happy and content. I must say, it is wonderful to finally you. Though you are skinnier than my visions led me to expect. You just don't take care of yourself. It's always about saving the world first, isn't it? <laughs> and that is just as it should be, madam. <laughs> Thank you, Cormac. More fury. My hand. Let's see here. My grandfather was buried here. I pray he isn't one of these risen dead. I hate to have to put him down. Oh, more side questing. Your flesh is weak. the artist when it comes to dispatching death's minions thanks don't mind me i'll just be waiting over here a wise decision we won't allow any harm to come to you <laughs> make more friends Oh. 
first one. Ah, I got her attention. That punk. What was that? That would be Urzael. Urzael? Urzael is the angel who commands Malthael's forces in this city. I think you made him angry. Good. Let us get to the Enclave. I need to see if Tyrion has made any progress. I need to go back. Let's see here. Where's that? Just the thing. We are equipped with such rubbish. <laughs> Get those out of the way. responsible for this it's the poor they've summoned these monsters oh, I can't believe it my best hammer's gone missing it couldn't have walked off on its own though could it lad one of the men needed a hammer he promised to return it fool boy I'll never see it again I'm sorry Hadrig <sighs> get out of my sight mm. Poor boy. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh, fair enough. My mother warned me about the poor. They want my wealth, but they don't want to work for it. And now they've created an army of death creatures. Well, when I'm king, I'll just show them. Uh, if they created an army of death creatures, it sounds like they worked for it. We're not going to die, are we? Tell me we're not going to die. I don't want to lose my soul. Right. What do you think, Shen? I was telling you about Lyria, wasn't I? Uh, oh, she was so beautiful that Durgis was determined to make her his own. Oh, yes, he pursued her relentlessly, showering her with gifts and attention until she succumbed and agreed to become his wife. Mm. But Durgis' jealousy was so great. He hid Lyria high in the heavens, far away from the reach of men and gods. Hmm. Yes. The jealous man finds it hard to make room for anything else in his life. Mm, yes, that was Durgis's desire was his very nature. All right, then. Zai was the greatest thief, and he wanted Lyria. He waited patiently for a night when Lyria's path hid her behind the silver moon. For when the sun set, Durgis had to leave Lyria's side, you see, for desire rules the night. He could only watch from below as she drifted across the ocean of stars. Then Zai climbed, silent as a whisper, into Lyria's palace in the heavens. Did Zai love her? No, but stealing from Durgis would make Zai a legend. Oh. <laughs> I have heard that the Grand Maester himself is in Westmarch. It is imperative that I find and speak to him. I will tell him of the sins his order is committing. Cormac, he is the leader of the Templar. The order most likely acts at his command. No. You are wrong. My first memories of being a Templar are of him comforting me, welcoming me to the Brotherhood. I looked into his eyes. He is a good man, I tell you. 
Mm. Today is the day I find out how deep the Order's corruption runs. You must do whatever you can to set things right, Cormac. I will do it, even if it means going against my entire Order. I could use a good friend by my side. Well, let's go then, shall we? This is one of our strongholds. I will have my answers soon. This could go badly. You must be ready for anything. Hello, sir. Cormac, everyone says you helped slay Asmodan and Belial. They're calling you the greatest of all the Templar. It's good to see you as well, brother. But I come with troubling news about the Order. I must speak with the Grand Maester. You're in luck. He's here. Standing orders are to send you to him upon your return. Take this, the Grand Maester's new proclamation. You've done us all proud. This proclamation from the Maester, it's damning. He admits his own guilt. How could I have not seen this? He didn't want to see it, Cormac. You still don't. Yeah, that's not good. We did for you, Cormac. But if the greatest of all Templar wishes them freed, it shall be so. We've been ordered to take you to the Grand Maester as soon as possible. Follow me. Cormac, the shining example of a true Templar. We have much to talk about. Yes, we do, Grand Maester. You have betrayed us. It was brutal but necessary. I did the hard things no one else would for the ascension of humanity. I carry the weight of my actions with me always. Are you ready to make a similar sacrifice, Cormac? Will you stand with me and become Meister in due time? I need you. But... I... No! Your power has driven you to madness if you think I would help you rule over mankind! This saddens me greatly, my son. I am sorry. Kill him. Man is a flawed being. Time and again, we have seen good men give in to temptation. Though it is painful, I have found only one answer. We must cleanse the minds of our recruits, so they will never fall prey to the corruption of the demons, or the blind self-righteousness of the angels. Mm. For Cathos, guide my hand. More fury. I dedicated my life to a lie. Everything I thought I knew, it was all in the service of a madman. I swear that every Templar I meet will be freed from the lies of the Order. And if they refuse, I will be forced to convince them. Truth. 
truth is always a harsh thing. Ah, good. How are you doing, Lyndon? Lyndon? What was your name? There's no easy way to say this, but I have to leave, and I won't be returning. Do what you must. I'm serious. My brother's imprisoned in Kingsport with no way to defend himself, and I must free him. You will not make it to Kingsport if Westmarch is overrun. All right. I'll stay for as long as I can, but only because I know how much you need me. <laughs> it's time for me to go. My brother will die in the Kingsport dungeons if I don't act now. A Kingsport prisoner, you say? Hmm. Those poor devils were all transported to our cells in Westmarch last week. But we haven't heard from the garrison since the attack started. Edmund, I have to find him. Will you help me, my friend? Of course I'll help you. Right then, this is where they're holding Edmund. Let me do the talking. If there's treasure to be had, then I'm in. You'll need that. You almost make theft unnecessary. <laughs> Looking for your brother, Lyndon. Wait, this is not right. Thieves Guild always finds who it's looking for. Thieves Guild infiltrated the entire dungeon? Oh boy. No one betrays the Thieves Guild and lives to tell of it. Nonsense, you just haven't heard from them. <laughs> hmm. Not enough fury. You guys messed with the wrong people. Or appropriately, uh, what did found the right friend? Guild seems to have brought a lot of stuff with them. Oh. Might have always been here. The guards that were supposed to be watching over things. Oh yeah, here. You don't know what you did tonight! never should have joined the guild. He told me that I wouldn't listen. His death is not your fault. He was slain before we came to Westmarch. That dagger looks very familiar. Take it with you. I know it is hard, but we must leave.
You cannot blame yourself for what happened, Linden. What do you want me to say? That I wish he'd never known me? That I wish he'd had a brother who didn't fail him? That you are struggling with grief. And I suppose the mightiest hero in all the land knows just how to help, eh? No. Now this is something you can't understand. Oh, you might be surprised. Stay in the shadows. The Grand Maester. Behind the Order's corruption. Deep down, I think I always knew. Perhaps that's why I never felt worthy of the Order. As if I was not a true Templar. Your beliefs were hollow. The ideas that were beaten into your mind could never reach your heart. So what will you do with your life now? What will you believe in? I believe in you and your quest. This world must be saved, regardless of the corruption of the Templar. That is a good man. What shall we fight today? Thank you. Could it be that the Prophet abandoned us? Why else would his magic fail to protect us while we slept? The Prophet's magic worked. It kept you safe. But my sisters died. Why them, and not me? When we leave companions behind, we carry their burdens forward. Leah, Cain, I carry on for them. I cannot simply feel sorry for myself. I must discover the truth. Indeed. When I left my sister Lysa, I took her magic focus as a reminder. I scryed it today to see if it held any clues, and I found strong traces of the demonic magic that killed her. It reminded me of the Vigerai's magic from before we served the Prophet. Those Vigerai died hundreds of years ago. The mages of today would not be seeking revenge. When I cast the magic upon her focus, I heard her voice again, and this time... I understood. She said one word. Irena. Is this truly the work of angels? I don't understand. How could they? Sadly, it is true. One of the angels has gone mad. I am going to put him and his followers down like the dogs they are. Good. You are a quiet sort, Serena. Mm. Sneak back home and fetch some of our savings. But the streets are crawling with those horrid creatures. That's precisely why you must go, dearest. Nobody notices you. Ouch. I don't think those two are a happy couple. Might be going out on a limb theorizing that, but uh, something just tells me that's the case. Oh, no matter. I think we'll actually go and speak with everyone else next time. See you then. Later.